Okay, so first things first, uh, about the tooth and nail under the shell duck aisle, it actually does work. You can entwine it, casting it off the shell duck aisle, which I thought you could because it works the same for kicker, but I wasn't 100% sure, so I don't want to take the chance that uh, I would just have to cast tooth and nail for either mode instead of both. But anyway, we're on round two now, so let's see what that has to be. Uh, oh, jeez, this hand's pretty bad. Zero lands and eight drops. Well, I guess one land. Oh man, this is not going to be my day. Uh, I'm going to mulligan again. He kept a seven. Yep, yeah, this hand's fine. Uh, hollowed fountain, go! Forbidden Hulk me into everything I need. <laughs> There's a shot out, Kyle. So, this Forbidden Hulk may be doing quite a lot of work to this uh, this game. Oh, jeez. Well, at least I don't have to draw those cards. I guess I'll take miscalculation. <laughs> a land actually might be better. Yeah, I'll just take miscalculation. Hopefully they'll... Uh, make a mistake when it gets to late game and I only have 20 cards left in my library. Though it also works if he only has 20 cards left in his library. I forgot to see what he was playing, which I usually do in cube drafts, because uh, in real life cubes, it's always teams. You get to know what everyone's playing after the first round. So I usually just look it up in cube drafts, but look, he's just playing red, or green, red aggro. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have the cough. And... Play this forest, I think. That way he thinks I'm bant. Very bad monstrosity. Which is actually not far from the truth. <laughs> I definitely need this tidings to do a lot of work, though. I need to draw both summoning trap and some sort of creature. Or to the nail. Ramp spells. This deck actually needs a lot to go off. Shell Duck Isle hitting a live card would have been nice. What is he casting? Ooh. I don't like this. I might just be dead. So I take 8 here. That's an insane amount of damage. Can't even block it with my Wall of Roots or any of my Mana Dorks. So... What do I even take? I guess I take Tooth and Nail. But I'm never going to survive until I get to 9 mana. Uh, what, well, let's see what my outs are. How do I beat his nonsense? Uh, this is my deck. So I could either Summoning Trap into Iona, which kills Hero of Oxid Ridge and basically negates the guys. I could draw Frost Titan, Sower, or Batter Skull. So, oops. So I need Frost Titan or Batter Skull. I think Thirst might be better than. Or maybe Search for Tomorrow. Hmm. I don't think I get to cast Tooth and Nail this time, so I'm not going to take Tooth and Nail. I think I'll just take Thirst for Knowledge, that way I can cast Thirst and then Tidings. So I don't really have cards to discard to Thirst. I'll worry about that later. <laughs> now he knows I'm playing Tooth and Nail. Oh, there's a Trop. Probably just discarding land, Ulamog. <laughs> uh, yep, Ulamog's getting the axe here. This makes regrowth pretty bad, so I might discard that actually instead of a land. Yeah, I'll discard regrowth. That's bad. I'm just gonna discard Mysterian Forest. This shuffles those lands back to top though, which is pretty bad. Uh, the lands that I revealed to the Shell Duck Isle, or that I know about. So basically, next turn I have to draw. Uh, batter Skull. Because this is 10 damage right here. If he has a burn spell, I'm just dead. White. I don't think... Huh, white. Is he Stoneforge Mystic? Ooh, Bloodbraid Elf. That kills me. Let's see what he reveals. Earthquake for zero. And two mountains. So, Earthquake's pretty bad for him. I guess he's just using it as a finisher. He's casting it. That's, uh, that's adventurous. I think I guess it does, doesn't matter, but... Um, what do I want? Definitely want Flash Freeze. Uh, what am I taking out? Might be taking out Sundering... 
not real sure what to take out. Maybe regrowth. Regrowth's basically just a cantrip. Flash is probably a little better against him. I mean, I kind of want to take out Tidings, but I probably can't afford to. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I think we'll try regrowth. Because regrowth depends on what I've drawn, whereas Tidings can draw me new things. Granted, regrowthing like a summoning trap or a uh, counter spell is pretty good. Oh, preordain. I think we're good. Good to go here. The old turn one drop pass. I really like the art on these du new duels. I mean, it's sad they're never going to reprint the dual lands in uh, real life, but if they if they did, I'd wish they'd reprint them like this. I didn't pre on turn one because I don't really know what I need, and if I have to, like I have two lands already, and now I have a two drop, so there's no reason to play pre just because I need to use my mana on turn one. There's a ponder, which I will cast because it fits my curve real nicely. Ooh, so I want all of these cards. And I don't think I'm casting... So I think I'm casting either Fact or Sower next turn. So I definitely want the Island on top. And the Sower on top of that. Yep, okay. So Impulse, Sower, Island. That way if he goes like Swamp, Duress, he can't take my Sower. Well, not Duress, but Thoughtseize. And I'll probably... Wow, he's not casting anything. So now I get to reveal Impulse with Factor Fiction. Yeah, that's fine. He kept a very slow hand for an aggro deck. Because he's like all cough and Hero of Oxford Ridge. Oh, there's a forest and an ancient tomb. I hope it puts those in the same pile, that'd be very good for me. Though, I think I'm taking Flash Freeze pretty much regard. It depends. I guess there's no use thinking about what, I, uh, what I'm what i going to take before he makes piles. We'll just decide what's better, depending on which pile he gives me. Factor Fiction's always bad for them, it's like the best. You get to draw two or three or sometimes four cards. Very rarely you draw one card off Factor Fiction, but when you do, you usually win, because that one card is the one they can't beat. They put it in its own pile for a reason. He saw Tooth and Nail last game, so... I don't think he'll give me both Ancient Tomb and Forest. Oh, he did. Uh, so I'm valuing Flash Freeze versus my ability to cast Tooth and Nail Ventwine. I think Tooth and Nail will be a little better. There's Kozilek. <laughs> So I can play Forest and then cast Eternal Witness to get back Factor Fiction. Or, or I could get back Flash Freeze. That might be better. Uh, I definitely want to cast Eternal Witness now, though, because otherwise I have to discard a card and I don't really want to discard anything. So we're trying to decide between casting or getting back Factor Fiction, which is kind of greedy because I have all these cards in hand or Flash Freeze, which I think is the safest decision. Eternal Witness, it's like the, uh, oh, that doesn't work. I still have to discard. Wow, I thought this through a lot, didn't I? So, I guess I'm getting Factor Fiction again. Discard Thirst for Knowledge. <laughs> that way I can still draw cards. Yeah, that was not very well thought out. I could have discarded Kozilek. Maybe that was better. Though I think I can just hard cast Frost Titan, so if I need to, I'll grab it with Tooth and Nail and put it into play Kozilek and uh, Elishnorn. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I need to draw another land before I can do anything. So, here's Hollowed Fountain. And we're going to preordain for that other land. 
Hopefully we hit search for tomorrow. That would be, I think, the best possible. There's Titans and Frost Titan. I don't want to draw either of those. I mean, I could cast Frost Titan, but... I don't think I need to. An island is acceptable. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Tooth and Nail cost 9 to entwine and cast. So I can miscalculate whatever he wants to play. Unless it's like a double white spell he just hasn't been able to play yet. I'm gonna bash. If he wants to block it, get it short of my mana and probably miscalculate. I could block his Hero of Oxid Ridge, but I'm just not gonna let it resolve. Is he playing around miscalculation? Or is he just doesn't think the life total matters? Because it definitely matters. I definitely should have discarded Kozlek instead of Thirst for Knowledge. That's not actually the end of the world. Hope my opponent decides to cast something. That would be desirable. Hopefully something that costs six mana like an Inferno Titan, I can just get him. Or we can pass turn and I'll factor fiction. I'm also fine with that. Actually, I actually don't want to factor fiction, I want to discard. I mean, I could Sower of Temptation is six drop. This is a Kitchen Finx. This resolves. Kitchen Finx does not do a lot. This mess calculation is rapidly losing value. Oh, oh, looks like it's gaining some value. Yep, we'll just count that. Don't want him to get too many creatures on the board. Also freeze up my hand so I can factor fiction again without discarding infinite cards. There's a search for tomorrow I wanted to draw last turn. Uh, so I can search. That puts an untapped land into play, so it like costs two. That gives me one, two, three, four, five mana to work with. So I can sower his guy. Or I could play Ancient Tomb and Factor Fiction, perhaps? We'll play Ancient Tomb next turn, hopefully make him forget about it. Um, cast... Search for tomorrow. Sower of Temptation, his creature. Leave open Tropical Island for no real reason other than it's like the prettiest art I have on the board right now. Who did the art on this? Friends Vowinkle? I've never heard of him. So now he can like shock sower if he wants to. It doesn't look like he had it. So next turn I get the tooth and nail searching up uh Elishnorn for sure. And maybe Frost Titan. Putting into play Kozlek and Elishnorn, then just cast Frost Titan. I mean I could just hard cast Kozlek pretty soon. If I draw another land. Yeah, okay, so he helixes this guy back. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab Elishnorn for sure, and then uh, Sundering Titan gets him pretty good. I get to kill three of his lands. That might put him out of the game. Though I think any number of fatties puts him out of the game. Oh, can't get... Don't have to worry about it now. <laughs> I hope I didn't miscount, like, and could have cast Tooth and Nail last turn, because I feel like I just could have... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I miscounted. Sweet. Playing real tight. So. We're not going to put Sundering Titan into play because I want to hard cast this Kozilek because I'm just the greediest. So we'll get Elish Norn and Ulamog. Put into play Elish Norn and Ulamog. Pretend I don't have anything else. His guys die. My eternal witness is a gigantic now. 4 3. I guess Ulamog got bigger too, but <laughs> who's going to notice when Ulamog increases in size? Yep, I won that game. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I definitely should have 
recounted. I definitely miscounted the uh, tooth and nail math. He had a really slow draw that game. I wonder what possessed him to keep that hand. Pretty sure he didn't mulligan. Turn four. I mean, mulligan to six, but like if you don't have a fast start, I don't think you can keep it six either. Like he's definitely the aggro in this matchup. Uh, cap size is not the worst. Sundering Titan just might not be very good in my deck. I'm not real sure. I think this is fine. And he unsurprisingly chooses to go on the play. I think I have to keep this hand just because it's batter skull. Though my curve is the unsurprising 5 drop, 5 drop, 6 drop hand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not going to pitch it back. I like having lands and cards I can cast. What do I want to play here? Island. I don't need to crack Scalding Torn for Tropic right away. Maybe this miscalculation will be able to get his hero. Oh, he doesn't have a 3 drop. He is another Dark He's all the mana dorks. Hopefully he just taps this 20 times and I don't have to worry about it. Well, actually tapping that 20 times will probably kill me because he's casting things, but you know what I'm talking about. Drawing Elishnorn was pretty awkward there. I need to draw like Thirst for Knowledge now so I can loot away like a Elishnorn and, and Eldrazi, hopefully, so I can shuffle them back. If he plays Hero of Oxidrage, I get to miscalculate him. Which I'm kind of hoping happening happens because it's my only way of deal dealing with a Hero of Oxid Ridge. He's taking a damage. Is it a black spell? No, he's not taking a damage. He realized he shouldn't do that. Yep. No, oh, Blood Raid Elf. Significantly worse than Hero. Beast within my land? Ah, oh, jeez. I have to miscalculate his Beast within, I think. Well, he doesn't actually... hasn't targeted my land yet, but he probably will. It's just too good for him not to. That puts him up like five mana on me. I uh, just beast within his elves of deep shadow, so he just wants to turn his elf into a three three. I think that's fine. I think I counter his blood raid elf though, because it's a three two with haste. I'm pretty sure beast within my land's much better. Because if I don't have a counter spell, I just fall way far behind against your Blood Raid Elf and two Mana Dorks. Draw. And go, go grab a drop. I didn't draw any smaller creature drops. I'm hoping this Batter Skull really gets there. And he just doesn't have any more things to play. It doesn't look like it. So I get a 14 after I crack this fetch. Hopefully he doesn't... he's just out of gas and doesn't have anything else. Please let that be the case. Probably just plays Garrick Relentless or something. Garrick Wildspeaker, maybe. I didn't actually see either in the draft, but... There has to be a reason he's playing green, other than... Like, Mana Dorks and Blood Raid Elf. Well, Blood Raid Elf's a pretty good reason to play green, but... It's not a good reason to be base green. With Kicker. Which Kicker? One, two, three, four, five, both Kickers? So he can... 2 damage to me, and he gets to kill an artifact. I don't have any artifacts. Good thing he didn't save that for Batter Skull. Because he knows about Batter Skull. I guess he just wanted a 2-2. Two -two. There's Forbidden Alchemy right on time. I can Forbidden Alchemy into Preordain, so I'll do that. sucks. What do I even want to take here? Maybe the land? I'd probably draw another land between Batter Skulls and Life Gain. I think I'll just take the Eternal Witness. That way I can cast it, get back Flash Freeze next turn. No, I'm definitely casting Batter Skull next turn. And then turn after that, I might cast Eternal Witness and get back Flash Freeze for blockers and counter spells. 
Okay, so island pastern. My deck's actually pretty slow if I don't draw like two mana dorks or search for tomorrow. Probably could have remedied that by taking the prismatic lens earlier. There's like no way I can cast Elish Norn. Now, he didn't attack with his Land War Pilgrim, or Avacyn's Pilgrim. Is he casting a 5 drop? 6 drop? Please don't cast a 6 drop. I don't think I can deal with one. Oh, he just wants to cast a white card. That might kill me. Puts. Meh. Don't have to worry about it now, I guess. Hopefully, he doesn't have another Thornscape Battle Mage for my Batter Skull. He has one card left in hand. So he's probably kicking himself for not saving this Thornscape. This Thornscape's done four damage to me. Killing Batter Skull is like so much more damage than hitting me and shocking me. Because now I get to play Frost Titan. Tap down his Shadow Guy. Because I can't Eternal Witness back at Flash Freeze anymore. I have to deal with this 2-2 two -two Shadow Creature. Does it? That's no, all other creatures. So he's only attacking with this, probably. Oh, he's attacking with everything. I don't think that's lethal. I didn't do the math. So if I block here, I take 1, 2, th 3, 4. I go to 3, because these two cancel each other. Yeah, that's acceptable to me. If he has Bolt, I'm dead. Like, he, could have, he could have a lot of things. Stagger Shock, the Batter Skull token. I drew a non-fetch land, that's pretty good. That does make Stagger Shock not be able to kill me. <laughs> uh, so, I think I'm still dead, right? He Stagger Shocks me, attacks with these two, and I die. So if I cast Witness, I can block here, take two, take two, that kills me. If I f Tidings, I can't, that doesn't do anything. So I have to hope he just doesn't attack. It's a good spot to be in, I think. Yeah, Stagger Shock's brutal. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm dead on board. Hopefully he has to just not see it. Though it's weird he hit Batter Skull, because hitting me kills me, doesn't it? No, he has to. Like, I just gain life off Batter Skull. Duh. So he just has to turn all his guys sideways. Yep. Figured it out. Kill us. No, we're going to kill us, Pilgrim. The Pilgrim caused me a world of trouble. Uh, sadly, lost two matches in a row. I think this deck's like, should, not the worst, but. I'm just getting beat down pretty hard. My deck's real slow. So it's possible I should have just drafted more ramp than I did. Maybe taking Scorn Villagers and casting them on time instead of all these slow blue cards that draw cards. Yeah, we'll see. Let's try to win a round with a <laughs> round three.